So we have two coaches uh, on the team. We thought it would make a really good match if I, as a parent uh, that has background in some administration and more responsibility of uh, having children, uh, that we could make a good team together. I don't play golf personally, I do now, but I've been watching my children take golf lessons and uh, work with golf pros and then be involved with the girls golf team for quite a few years now, so I know the sport. And uh, after this year, I really know the sport. <laughs> Golf is a st strenuous sport, mind-wise. It's a mental game, and you can get down. And if you could just maybe have some words of encouragement, uh, it can change your whole game. My big part was making sure I brought waters and oranges for the girls, uh, and then always asking them, how are you doing? And uh, do you need anything? Kind of like mother hen, I guess, <laughs> which is uh, you know what I do full time. So, <laughs> My great, great grandpa, he was the, one of the presidents at our local country club and he played golf. And my dad is in golf and it's kind of like a generational thing. The conditioning period, before we actually go into games, we usually go to the driving range at our local golf course. And we practice that for quite a while. Our practices can end up being hours and we do putting and chipping as well so it can be well-rounded and occasionally we go into the course as well to practice. Santa Rosa Academy is um, academic driven. It's one of the reasons why I put my children in this school. They have the teachers who want to give their time. They want the children to reach out to them to help them succeed, giving them opportunities to have, you know, extensions for, for assignments that are due, giving them the opportunity to come in during their office hours. I, I feel like it's amazing. I think we're really blessed at Santa Rosa Academy to, to have this. I'm a red track student, which means that I am in a sort of like hybrid of on-campus school and homeschooling. For me, it's a little bit easier to balance my schoolwork with my um, athletic activities. So the teachers want to help us. Obviously, they, they don't want us to get bad grades so we can get extensions if requested reasonably, stuff like that. Well, I feel like uh, the most important thing for our girls golf team is to start our preseason. <laughs> this year we started right at match season, so we didn't get to do the conditioning that should have been done first. So um, now that we have our coaches in place, uh, Coach Armando and I, if we're uh, allowed and able to come back next year, which would be wonderful, then we can be with the girls earlier. So we can start in August, which is when we're supposed to start as opposed to mid-September. Our, our team is growing. We need the numbers. So if it's something that you're willing to learn and you're willing to put in the time and to be dedicated to it, you could come and learn the sport. You can love it. You can love the people that you're playing with. This golf is something you can play for the rest of your life. Thank you.